Hey, what's up everybody? I'm Waller's Wallet, and in this video, we're gonna talk about a big bonus offer that's ending soon. American Express really kicking up the bonus on the American Express green card. An easy way to potentially earn 10,000 membership reward points. Should you get the old freedom before it's gone? And a new high promotion that can be quite lucrative for people. Now, if you want a simple way to help out the channel, consider hitting that thumbs up button. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn that bell notification on as well so you don't miss out on future videos. Now, first, let's start off by talking about the big Southwest credit card offers ending soon. And I think this is worth mentioning for people who are considering one of the Southwest credit cards with their large 65,000 point signup bonus. And this offer is currently on all of their cards right now. And probably the most valuable Southwest card is probably the priority card if you're someone who's going to consider holding a Southwest credit card for the long term. And if you are someone who's been on the fence about applying for this card, it looks like this offer is going to be pulled on September 14th around the 5 p.m. time frame. So if you are contemplating it, you still have a few days left to get this card before the offer is pulled. And we may or may not see a better offer in the future, but 65,000 points is extremely solid. Next, let's take a look at a big offer on the American Express green card. You know, American Express has really been doing their best to gather attentions for these sign-up bonuses. We've seen higher bonuses on the gold card, and now we're seeing American Express come back and really improve the point earning bonus on the green card as well. Now, when you go through a personal referral link, you're gonna find offers for 50 or even up to 60,000 points for only a $2,000 spend. And this is a fantastic bonus offering for such a low spending requirement. It actually reminds me of the old American Express gold card, where it was offering a 50,000 point bonus for only a $2,000 spend, before American Express kicked that up to a $4,000 spend. And even if you're someone who's not traveling right now, this is a solid bonus that could bring about plenty of travel when the time is right. And if you haven't had the green card before and you're eligible for a bonus and in the market for a new card, this could really be a great option. And I value membership reward points at about one and a half cents per point. So this bonus is worth between $750 to $900 before you account for the annual fee. So you definitely come out ahead on this card in year one, even when you do account for that $150 annual fee. Now, if you're interested in this offer, I'll put my personal referral link in the description below. And if you use it, thank you very much. I really do appreciate it. Now we've seen these offers come and go, but American Express is once again offering 10,000 points to people who enroll their cards in the pay over time feature. Now this does look to be targeted and it may even be in your American Express offer section but you may also get an offer when you call into American Express. And this is for their charge cards, not on their credit cards. Now, over in my Facebook group, Wayne got an offer when he called into American Express. So if you don't see one of these offers on your account in the American Express offer section, it could be a worth a call over to American Express because these are easy points and are definitely worth a few minutes of your time to see if you have the offer on your account. Then let's talk about the old Freedom credit card going away. And this is just a reminder that the Freedom Flex is being launched in a few days and the old Freedom credit card is no longer going to be available for new applicants when that happens. Now, according to Chase, you're not going to be allowed to have multiple Freedom Flex credit cards. So if you're someone who can utilize and really maximize those 5% rotating categories and want to lock in another card, it could be a good idea to snag the old Freedom card before it's gone. You can always apply for the Freedom Flex at another time or you can even right now convert a card that you're not using, let's say like the Chase Slate or the Fee Free Sapphire card to the Freedom card to get that offer if you wanted to. And the benefits of the Freedom Flex are gonna be better than that of the old Freedom credit card. So it could be worth changing over an older Chase Freedom credit card, especially if you have multiple Freedom credit cards and you're over 524. And lastly, let's take a look at some Hyatt promotions that could be quite lucrative for people. Now, there's no secret, Hyatt points are the most valuable hotel point currency in the game right now. And with this promotion, you're gonna be able to earn triple points on all paid Hyatt's days. And if you're a card holder of the Hyatt credit card, you can earn four extra points on paid Hyatt's days at certain properties. And this can be some serious point earnings as well. And this promotion is gonna be for stays completed between October 1st and January 4th of 2021. Now it is important to remember you do need to register for this promotion by November 30th. And as long as you registered for this promotion by November 30th, 
then points would be retroactively awarded to you if you had a stay in the promotional time frame. And on top of that, Hyatt is extending the free parking on award nights for all members until January 4th of 2021. And also, Hyatt's extending their rebate promotion where non-credit card holders can get 15% back of their points on awards days and Hyatt credit card holders can get 25% of their points back. This also has been extended until January 4th of 2021. Now, programs are really trying to get people to travel, so we might see some great promotions offered by companies in the upcoming months. Now, it's gonna be up to you to decide if you're comfortable traveling at this time or not. And if you are comfortable traveling right now, then you'll have plenty of opportunities to earn some points. If you're not comfortable traveling right now, then sit these promotions out. There will always be future promotions. Now, there are a lot of opportunities to earn some big points right now, and I'm sure we'll see more in the upcoming months as well, as banks and companies really want to get customers' business. So if you're in the market for a new card, be sure to pay attention because there are some great offers floating around right now. And if you're traveling, companies are offering promotions to reward you more to really get you in the doors or even on their airplanes. So tell me, are these promotions from companies enough to make you travel right now? Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in this video. If you want to help support the channel, take a look at the links down in the description below. And if you know somebody that could benefit from this video, feel free to share it with them. And until next time, safe travels and take care.